NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg has warned Europe against trying to go alone on defense. As he says, a majority of NATO's defense expenditures come from non-EU NATO allies. Stoltenberg's comments come after former President Donald Trump ignited a fresh debate over NATO funding and U.S. role in it. Listen to this. European allies should do more uh, on defense. Uh, and that's exactly what they're doing and they need to continue to do so. Uh, that has been the main message from NATO for years, and I welcome the fact that uh, now we see uh, action. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, so that's uh, that's important. Uh, but this should be part of a transatlantic joint effort. It should be part of uh, the idea: North America and Europe we defend each other. It's good for North America. It's good for Europe. After Trump's threat, NATO's European partners are waking up to the possibility of America moving away from the military alliance. Trump's grouse is against the European nations not paying their dues. On Wednesday, Stoltenberg claimed 18 of the alliance's 31 countries are on course to achieving their defence spending targets this year. According to the NATO chief, overall European allies and Canada will have added more than $600 billion to their defence spending. If President Putin wins in Ukraine, it will send a message to him, uh, uh, but also to other authoritarian leaders, uh, that uh, they get what they want when they when they use military force. Uh, it will make the uh, uh, the world more dangerous, us more vulnerable. Um, today it is uh, Ukraine. Tomorrow it can be uh, Taiwan. Experts claim Moscow's full-scale war on Ukraine is a wake-up call for European countries. It has seen the NATO turn the 2% figure into a minimum requirement. Key players like Germany have ramped up spending and are expected to meet the target this year. But the United States still accounts for the bulk of combined defence spending by NATO members. In 2006, NATO countries vowed to spend 2% of their gross domestic product on their own defence. However, the 2% milestone is voluntary and there are no penalties enshrined in NATO's founding treaty for falling short of that 2% figure.